All right, so let's conclude the entire course and just do a quick review of what we did in this last section uh, and kind of wrap things up. So we learned how to use the auto load and the H engine data. These two really help us kind of clean up our workflows when using the PDG asset link and the auto load allows us to dynamically change thing, things in the scene. You just have to know how to go into the particular partition by index node and map everything appropriately. Um, we then created a basic path tool for level designers so we can let an artist or level designer define where they want the paths and then our, our procedural system ingests those particular paths and flattens out the terrain so we deform the terrain using the path and then we cleared the foliage because we obviously we don't you know want trees and rocks on our path unless you have some sort of different way like we did with the grasses right maybe we want different foliage on the path all right and then finally we uh, textured the terrain using the path so with that um, that concludes the course I really hope that you guys enjoyed it and learned a lot about PDG I'm still learning a lot about PDG every day and um, hope to make more courses about this I do want to get the unreal stuff uh, going as well because uh, this also works inside of unreal it was just a lot easier for me personally to do this in unity first um, and honestly when we were developing the asset link stuff it was uh, easier to do in unity as well so with that I'm gonna sign off here and I'll see you guys in the next course thanks so much bye